What is this legitimate expense of crap? That's better. This video is brought to you by a guy who probably has an anxiety disorder. Okay, I wanted to bring up this topic that seems to have um, more of a resurgence now. Because I have no idea if this happened in the, in the past. It probably has, because I've only been alive on this sweet earth for a quick 18 years. But I, I've already seen two examples, and I'm, I wouldn't be surprised if it would happen again. And the topic has to do with a very dedicated fan base. Of course I'm talking about superhero movies. I love me a good Marvel movie. I've seen all the Marvel movies. I've seen all the Marvel shows. So let's date this video. I've seen all of Loki. And I'm ready for what if. I'm excited, actually. But today we're not going to be talking about Marvel. We're going to be talking about, uh, about DC. The DCU? DCEU? It's a DC... I don't... Whatever. They're going through a lot right now. Timeline-wise and universe-wise. And there is a previous example of what I'm going to talk about, i.e. the, uh, the Zack Snyder Justice League cut, but that's not what we're going to be talking about today. Today, we're going to be talking about the upcoming the Suicide Squad movie. Uh, I haven't seen it yet. I know that uh, some people got to see it early and they said it was cool. Um, I hope it's good. Could you imagine if it sucked? They're just like, all right, Margo, sorry, you, you gotta leave, man. I don't want that to be a reality, but I wanna see like in a different reality, would corporations be that like ruthless to a really good actress? Could be, could totally be. Just like those movies are not doing well. You're a good actress, but uh, you don't bring in the big bucks. So, Bye. Anyways, we're not talking about Margot Robbie today. We're talking about the Suicide Squad movie. More importantly, that it's like a sequel? I don't know what it is, because I haven't seen it yet. I don't know if they're gonna work in the past movie in 2016, the one that sucked. I don't know if they're gonna completely throw it away. I don't know if they're gonna allude to it. I have no idea. No matter what they do timeline-wise or, or lore-wise, there's still this underlying factor in it, that it is a redo. And that's what I mean with the Zack Snyder Justice League, where it's like, that movie sucked, and we know it sucked, so we're just we're just gonna redo it. This is why I'm only talking about the Suicide Squad movie, because I think uh, the Zack Snyder has a more underlying sense of justice. I know that directors didn't want him. Whatever. We're not talking about that. It's, it's just weird that it's happening more and more, and that's it's like insane that like, that industry has so much money where they can just put out a bad movie and then redo it a couple years later with like a bigger budget just to see if it works. Like, I don't know, I feel like, like way back when, like 10 years ago, if a movie sucked, like it sucked, you know, like, oh, don't watch Shrek 3, I mean, that movie sucks. You know, if, if, if it's out and it's bad, then people are gonna recognize it as bad, and that's that. Now, the, uh, the superhero movie industry is just like, yeah, okay, that was bad. Give us a couple years to retry and we'll probably get it right. Like, that's insane that they have that much money to do that. Where, they're, where instead of a bad movie tanking at the box office and it being like a hard hit, it tanks at the box office and they're like, ha, whoops. That's just insane to me. I feel like I could be a Loki variant if I tried. Chunky Loki. <laughs> and it's mostly DC, which, I mean, makes sense. I mean, you know, their movies are, uh... <clears throat> <coughs> this morning I brushed my teeth with cortisone, thinking it was toothpaste. I heard the new one, the new Suicide Squad movie was good. I heard the Zack Snyder cut was good. Uh, but I want to watch it to see for myself, you know? I mean, are people just saying it's good because it is a redo? And, and they just want it? so badly to be good? Or is it actually good and they actually got it right this time? Do you remember when just like all the time news outlets would just constantly say that like superhero movies are dying out? And now here we are where they're getting like shows and redos and still dominating in the, in the box office? It makes you think like, when is it gonna crash, you know? Because this thing can't go on forever, can it? Is, is superhero movie just like a new genre? You know, like you got your, your Western, your mysteries, your horrors, and your superheroes? Is it just like an install genre in uh, popular culture now? I'd be fine if it is. I guess it is, I mean, look at Endgame. Do I have to grapple with the fact that a new genre of, of movie is now gonna live out me? Because you know, I'm the most important thing in this universe, obviously. <laughs> I should probably wear purple for these videos because like that's my entire channel color and I, I haven't worn any purple and my hair is not even purple. I'm a fraud. 
can superhero movie industries just keep redoing things until they get it right? I mean, look at Fantastic Four. The early 2000s, and then Fan Four Stick, and now they're getting a Marvel reboot. You know, it makes you think, like, how many times will they try until they get it right? How many times can they tank and lose so much money until they get it right? Does it even matter to them? Is it like teardrops in an ocean when it comes to money? You think a million dollars is a lot, but then you just see all these governments throwing away millions of dollars for stuff you don't even know. For stuff you don't even care about. That's also another thing is that like behind the scenes on not superhero movies are so stupid looking. Because I mean, CGI can just do anything now. So you just have like Paul Rudd doing flips on a huge green box and in a green box with the green box wearing a green box <laughs> Woo! i have nothing against margot robbie will smith and jared leto by the way and the old other cast i can't think of their names right now there's a lot of them and i definitely don't have a problem with idris elba hey buddy whatever this industry will thrive and will continue to long after i'm gone so godspeed marvel godspeed dc and godspeed robert downey jr Ah, uh, conclusion, maybe, just maybe, people wanted the Suicide Squad movie to be good because it's an interesting topic, but it was so bad. But now that we're getting a redo and it is good, we can finally have not cringy cosplay, not cringy fanfic. Actually, that's always gonna be cringy. Just something legitimate to nerd over about Suicide Squad finally being in a movie that's good, you know? Instead of, um, honka honka. So yeah, thank you for watching. My name is Gusty, and, um, you smell. Okay, but I am so excited for the Fantastic Four movie. Oh my god, I've waited so long for a good movie of them. Oh, please, please, please!